Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Master Detective Challenge in Whistleton Creek. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 but before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. If you missed any Whistleton Creek challenges so far that I've covered, there's a link in the description of the full playlist of videos just in case you've missed any. But for this particular challenge, we're going to bring along our normal lockpick, our pistol, and I bring along some sedative pills or a sedative vial, whichever you have in your inventory. We're going to start also in the default location. So, for this, in order for you to get this challenge uh, done, we need to collect all the clues that are dotted around the map. And the first ones, I think overall there's about nine of them. So, the first one we're actually going to go, ha go and get is the documents that are going to be in the shed in Batty's garden. He's also going to be carrying the same, same documents on him. So, if you prefer to, go ahead and take him out and grab them off his body. But there's going to be some in the shed anyway. So uh, and we're going to do it the safe way. We're actually just going to create a distraction with this generator. And he's going to come out and investigate the noise. And that's when we're going to jump through the window, steal his documents, and steal his shovel as well. So that will be the first clue of all of them so far. I wish there was like a checklist that will pop up on the screen, but unfortunately it doesn't. But um, the next one up is going to be a cigar box. Also, when you go and dig this hole, make sure you crouch when you do it. Because you could potentially get spotted. Like, I'm almost got spotted here doing it. So, uh, just make sure you crouch when you're doing it. Because for some reason, it tricks the AI into thinking you're crouching while you're doing it. So, that's the second clue, which is the uh, cigar box. The next is going to be a surveillance tape, which is going to be inside Cassidy's house. We're going to take out this camera first. And then we're going to go ahead and poison this fumigator. We're going to poison it with the sedative pills and it's actually going to knock out the entire house. That will give us free room to get inside and do what we want. This could mean the constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. I'm also going to take out the evidence just in case no bodies get found. So that's the recording erased. And then we can go ahead and turn it on. It's also going to distract the exterminator, so just keep that keep that in mind. So if you want to go ahead and grab the exterminator disguise as well, otherwise your green smoke is going to uh, smoke is going to affect you. If you don't uh, want it, the smoke, green smoke to affect you, just turn it off and head inside. But either way, this exterminator is going to get distracted anyway, so we're just going to grab this disguise regardless. Also, just going to hide his body in the bush. So, once inside, there's going to be a table in the kitchen. On the table is going to be a surveillance tape, and that will be the next clue. There's also going to be a bodyguard in the house, and he's going to be carrying a note. He's this guy with a necklace around his neck. He's going to be carrying a note, and that is going to be the next clue. Next, we need to go and play the tape, which is uh, in the attic across the street. We're also going to grab this guy's disguise because it's going to help us uh, get into that place without getting spotted or anything like that. Just watch out for Cassidy because obviously he's an enforcer to you. And uh, we're across into this garden here. Use our lockpick on the fence. Alternatively, you can just jump over. And then we're going to climb the ladder at the back all the way into the attic and play the surveillance tape. Unfortunately, you do have to listen to all this crap that from this tape, otherwise it's not going to save, so you have to make sure you sit through all this entire thing for, in order for it to actually register as a clue.
Excellent, 47. This recording confirms that Janus is planning to meet with the Constant. This is just the sort of thing we're looking for. Next, we need to go to the house just uh, opposite us, which is going to be Granny's house, the lady that bakes all the little muffins and things. In her, on the second floor of the house, she's going to have a robe up there. And all we need to do to get that is basically just put it on, and then that will be one clue registered. Um, you can get in anywhere you want to. Really, I should have just jumped through that window. I don't know why I came into the basement, so I advise you to just jump straight through that window. Forget what I'm doing right here because it's it's unnecessary. But um, you can still get in the house this way, but it, I, it wasn't necessary. I could have just jumped through the window. Everyone in the house is going to be enforcer. Just need to watch out for that. There's going to be people upstairs. Actually, no, there's no one upstairs. This is this is Granny's house. Yeah, there is a fish, however, up there. So yeah, you just need to watch out for that. It's not in this room, is it? It's in the one opposite. Wrong one. Yep, that way. Have to use our lockpick on this door. There's the rope. I just need to put it on, and then put our other disguise back on. The next clue is actually in Janus's house. He's actually got three clues in his house, actually, so... Oh, watch, watch out for that. What's all that about? Is that the politician, dude? Okay, now she's gone. He's still standing there? What's he standing there for? Can I count on your vote? No. Next one's gonna, like I said, gonna be in Janus's house. Um, it's gonna be in Janus's basement, the very first one. There's gonna be a picture. Just watch out for everyone in this area. There are enforcers. Uh, you might be best to actually take out this dude and grab his disguise. It might help you a lot. Okay. In fact, let's do that. Let's hide his body in the bush. Bush, bush, bush. Leap over here. Use a lot of pick on here. It's gonna be a guard in here, he's gonna be an enforcer, just watch out for him. So you can take him out any way you wanna. Let's gonna subdue him. My twin. Why would you wear the same coloured hat and the same coloured shirt though? In this room you can also take out the surveillance if you haven't done so already at Cassidy's house. But this is the next piece of the next piece of the clue, which is going to be that picture. The next one is going to be a microfilm, and that's going to be on the second floor. There are going to be two guards up here, and a camera. So you just need to watch out. So there's only going to be one enforcer. He's going to be patrolling up and down. And he, at this current point, point in time, he's going to have his back to me. So that is when you want to make your move. Otherwise, um, you know, he, he will spot you. So just make sure you time that right. So we're just going to wait for him to turn around again. We've already grabbed the microfilm, so the next one is turn on on the gramophone. And that's that's it for this house. We can actually go and uh, move on to the next part. There's just two more left, I think. Yeah, there's two more left. And one of them is going to be in this corner of this area. There's going to be two garbage truck drivers down here. They're going to be discussing the dude on the bench. He's going to be reading like a diary. That's actually Janus's diary. So we're going to need to take him out in order to grab that, and that'll be our penultimate clue. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come Unfortunately, again, we're going to have to wait this conversation out if um, you want to take out this guy silently. If you don't care, ultimately, um, then you can just go ahead and shoot these guys in the head. It don't really matter. We just want to get this challenge done. But um, for the sake of my integrity of being a stealth, silent assassin dude, I'm going to have to try and do this as stealthy as I can, I just can't help it. I find it very difficult to actually do any of these challenges without at least trying to do it stealthy. Even though it's not required or necessary. I can't help it, it's in my genes, it's in my blood. Well, it's not in my genes, it's just, it's just me. We're going to use the cigar box as a distraction, throw it in the bush, I'll we'll grab it anyway. I can use it as a melee weapon actually. But uh, we're going to go and take him out. He's going to drop the diary. And that will be our second to last clue. Hmm. 
And then finally James we just have, need to go to Wilson's house and look at the Markra film in, is, with the microscope. But it's still attached to the society. Well, so it's, so uh, it's the lady that's having a party right now. Well, the burgers are being sold. And, well, not sold, but uh, given out. And the hot dogs and stuff. I'm making, I'm making myself hungry now. But yeah, to find that, it's just going to be an erratic. And then all you've got to do is literally just play the microfilm. Scroll through it, and that's when you'll get the master detective challenge pop up for you. There's a lot of, be lot of bodies being found. I think it's that house where we sedated everybody. That's probably what it was. Not exactly son assassin, but... Uh, we got there in the end anyway. So it's just in this room over here. It's going to be a piece of string. Pull that into the attic. Well, that's it, really. We're nearly done with Wilton Creek. Clearly, Jane is, is a meticulous man. This microfilm contains a lot of heavily redacted minutes. So that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out or if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. For the full playlist of videos, check out the link in the description. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.